Alright, so game two. We have the amazing swipe cart. And we're going to bring Mike in for that. Where are you, Mike? Oh, there you are. Alright, Mike, boy, I'm bringing you in. Hey Mike, how you doing? Uh, good. How's this sound? Sounds good, man. Ah, uh, so happy to have you on, Mike. Uh, the game looks a lot of fun. Uh, before we get started, do you want to give everyone an introduction to who you are and uh, what you do and what Swipe Card is? Sure. Uh, cool. My name's Mike Hendry, and uh, I actually just make games as a hobby. Um, I'm actually a uh, factory engineer is my full-time job, so I just sort of made swipe card in my free time after work. And uh, how long have you been working on it for? Um, it took me about two years, approximately, just a few hours a day after work. I see. I see. And what inspired this, uh, this unique little game? Um, honestly, it makes a, a pretty good story. Uh, I was on my uh, honeymoon two years ago in Disneyland and it, uh, just kind of got inspired while I was waiting in line for some rides. Uh, got thinking about tracks and minecarts and things like that and just sort of came about. I see. I see. Well, uh, I hope your game's not too hard because I'm terrible at video games. Let's see. My name is... Uh, sweet. And I am a male. I hope that's a male symbol. I can't. I always forget which one's which. To be honest. I, I tried to color code them so one of them should be blue. Okay. Well, color. I picked the blue one. So. All right. So. This is interesting. It reminds me, like, when I saw the trailer for this game, it reminded me of these old, um, like, I guess you could call them like skill. Videos, uh, not skill videos, skill games of the uh, where you had like the motorcycle and you had to collect like flowers and stuff for like going around like a 2D ramp or whatever. I'm not sure if that game, uh, if it's very familiar to this one. Oh, what's going on here? Driver mail. Anyway, let's play. Yeah, I mean, uh, a few of my inspirations were games like uh, Line Rider and Trials. Mm -hmm. Uh, games like that, level. yeah, kind of skill, a little bit Twitch based, but uh, I tried to start the game off not too difficult. Okay. Click the skip. Alright. Any advice going into this? Um, no, not really, but uh, just have fun with it. And some of the instructions are kind of important. A lot of people don't really read them or look at them, but. Mm. Alright, hold the left mouse button to dra and drag back and forth to accelerate. Put up to your desired now, speed and go... I'll just kind of interject and say that uh, the control scheme for the mouse was kind of designed uh, as if you were using a touch screen. The thing is, I did design this game as uh, cross-platform, so there is a uh, iOS and Android version as well. So the uh, mouse controls kind of emulate that touch, that swiping. I see. Oh, wow, okay. And you can't accelerate after after a certain point. Okay. So the point is to drag back and forth really quickly. Yeah, the quicker you're dragging back and forth, the more speed you build up. And you let go after that point. And the next time you put your mouse button down, you'll break. It's a one-shot sort of deal. Alright. So you can hit, hit restart. Uh... Alright. Cool, got it. It's kind of build your speed, let go, and then hold the button down when you break. And you want to stop right near the exit. And it gets quite a lot more complicated. I, uh, global leaderboards, 166 ass butt. Good stuff. <laughs> Uphill, huh? I probably skipped the introduction then. Oh, I've got some sick air off that. 
think it went a little too far. Yeah. You have to stop within the, the points. Yes, yeah, in between the red gates. So this is uh, also on mobile, I assume. Yep. Yeah, it's on the uh, iOS, uh, the iTunes App Store, and also the Google Play Store. I might have to grab it then. I think it work a lot better with like your fingers and stuff. I feel it, it does. I spend a lot of time actually testing it on flights, and kind of funny that uh, every time uh, it is quite popular with young children. Amazingly, I had small like under three, four-year-old toddlers walking up and, and watching me play it. Okay. Uh, like, it, what was it about the, uh, do you think, what, what about it do you think made the, uh, make, makes it interesting to children? Um, well, you'll see when you get a little further, uh, amazingly, my four-year-old niece, every time I see her, she says, I want to play minecarts. Um, there's a lot of uh, customization options that uh, when you get a little further in the game and uh, rank up a bit, there's different outfits, uh, different carts that you can choose from, uh, and sets to collect, actually. I see. Alright, so, events. Okay. I see. In the beginning, it's just familiarizing you with the menu. Um, this is, like, your headquarters. From here, you can choose events. That's all that's unlocked at the beginning. And you've got uh, level editors and stuff in here as well, right? Yeah, um, there there is a level editor. Um, it's I'd say about ninety percent complete. I didn't actually get around to uh, adding all of the objects in the game, but there's quite a fully featured uh, object set in it. Let's see, so how do you uh, actually start up the camp? The oh, okay, you just go back into trials. Uh, actually, clicking the word trials on, underneath Rocky Ridge. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's not completely obvious. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Fast time, and the other is to get all the gem fragments. Okay. Let's keep doing the trials. Go it's first. a little hard. Uh, the the uh, stream's a little bit delayed, so I'm uh, I'm That's just kind of watching a little behind here. Yeah, yeah. There's about thirty seconds of delay. Um, uh, for Twitch, unfortunately. One of the uh, the complaints I did hear was about the UI, especially in the menu. So if uh, someone does have a controller plugged in, it becomes a lot more obvious. The uh, different menu options are all highlighted, and they're all selectable just with the gamepad. I see. I do have a gamepad here, but how, how does it actually work with the gamepad? Um, it just, you, you use the triggers to, uh, to accelerate. Right trigger replaces the swiping. Uh, left trigger replaces the uh, brake. Interesting. So you just hold it down, or did you just do you hit yeah. the button over? And yeah, over honestly, and... I just wanted a, a hassle-free, kind of relaxing PC experience for it as well. That's why I, I just kind of added the gamepad within the last month of development. I could plug in the putting your speed Alright, let's see if it works. Alright, oh, that's nice. Didn't have to restart it or anything. Yeah, no, it should, uh, there should be button prompts for everything. Oh, shit. I see. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not left. So, yeah, some of the tracks get kind of a, a puzzle aspect to them in that you need to, um... Slow down and speed control your, yes, yeah. yeah, slow down or not kind of go full tilt in the beginning. Fantastic, look at that, that works pretty well. But I want to go so fast. <laughs> Later on, uh, there are uh, different uh, abilities you can get, uh, boosting, jumping, things like that, which allow you to go a lot quicker. I see. Oh, don't get cleaned up. Ah, oh, damn. 
Sick place. Bugger. Oh, there's that music that I heard on the trailer. I was wondering that was going to kick in. Oh man, that's pretty tough actually. Yeah, that's why it's called Thread the Needle. Uh, I'm guessing you have to go up and down by the, sound, by the looks of it. No, uh, that one you gotta hit about the right speed. About 9 miles per hour. 9 miles. Okay. It, maybe just under about 8.5 miles per hour will get you straight through that. It's kind of meant as a test of being able to control your acceleration at the beginning. Did you look at that? And after you told me how to do it, I did it. Doesn't surprise me at all. So you said you've been working on this for about two years, right? Uh, yeah, that's that's right. And in that time, have you had uh, like has it changed much, or has it pretty much been the same all the way through? Yeah, that's kind of an interesting story. Um, yeah, honestly, the I do have kind of on my uh, site, on my blog, somewhere an old picture of what it looked like the first week. It was pretty much the same game. Uh, I just kind of nailed down the physics within the first week, but everything was just black, black solid gray and black track, and everything just placeholder graphics. But it only took me about a month or so to get this base tile set going for this first world. And then honestly, after that, I kind of went a little crazy with uh, adding features. As you can see, the online high scores and all that kind of unnecessary additional stuff. But yeah, and, and this whole uh, this garage system. Now, what you can do is you can click on your uh, or go to the different uh, helmet, cart, and wheels and switch those out. Yeah, uh, none of them are statistical. It's all just graphical, but. I don't know. My uh, four-year-old niece <laughs> likes making her cart all pink. All pink? Yeah, I'm, I'm with him, and that's what I want. And yeah, when you get further along, more stuff unlocks. Kind of hard to just navigate have the... this with the with the controller, though. But... Is that because I don't earn, earn anything? Yeah, at the beginning, you only have like one. Uh, I think one helmet. You have no other carts. One helmet. You have to get everything from the shop. Go to a different set. Okay, hang on, I'll try oh, uh, yeah, you can't look at them unless you actually own them. That's a problem. So right now you only have just the base uh, stuff. So if you buy something from the shop, it'll show up in here. Okay. With the with the controller, it's like yeah, it's like yeah, okay. That's that's really weird. Sell the helmet, make some money. Can't sell the helmet. Okay. All right, cool. So how do you buy things? You should be able to just click in this shop and uh, click on something, click buy. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing that, unfortunately. Huh. Owned one set. Okay, so I, I don't think I can change it just yet. Change the helmet, oh, though. But... Yeah, if you're in the garage, you're, you're that's basically like your, um, your inventory. But oh, to actually buy okay. new stuff, you want to be in the shop itself. No, that uh, makes total sense, yeah. I see now. And each of these things is different, like, every time you come in, it's just, just a different Yeah, kind of it's, stuff. Uh, it's just randomized. Um, I have a set just to a real-life five-minute timer, so every five minutes it will change out. But at the see. beginning, there's basically your crappy crap. Alright, excellent. Alright, cool. Well, I got a wooden cart now, because kicking it old school. Alright, events, trials. Do I have any more left? I do, nice. Ooh, that's interesting. Gotta get the perfect. So, talk to me about the, the level designer and what you do with it, and how you make it so that it, um... Like, is it one of those things where you have to beat it yourself in order to, like, put it up online for people to play with? Yeah, that was the, uh, easiest way I could think of to have it be somewhat fair. Yeah. Um, yeah, when you create a track, you just have to have a start, a finish, um, and be able to actually complete it once before it'll let you hit the upload button. Look at that, did it perfectly. 
third place, but that was perfect. I have no idea why that. So how does the score work? Like, how does how does this it get all scored up and stuff like that? But um, I'm guessing it's time and where okay, you land. Okay, yeah. Basically, it goes by time. Uh, the amount of fans you get and the money you get is also based on the amount of fans. So more fans, more money. When you start getting um, more abilities later on, you can do things like wheelie, um, boost. Those all kind of chain and combo. You can kind of see also when you get gems, there's a combo meter yeah. going on. Kind of a times one, times two, times three. All that stuff adds up and it kind of gives you a higher score, influences how much, uh, how many fans you get and thus how much money. I see. So how did, what's, so you just get fans by just playing the game normally pretty much? Yeah, uh, fans kind of the, is also like your experience points. The more fans you get, the higher your rank. So it all kind of, it, it took me kind of a while to design it. It may be needlessly complicated, but that's kind of the pitfalls of working on a game also over the course of two years. See, you got first place on that. So what is the heat meter for? Um, it's kind of acts as a prevention from allowing you to spam abilities. Um, you'll actually notice when you're swiping or accelerating in the beginning, it does go up. Um, and every time you break, it also goes up. Uh, when you overheat, you won't be able to do anything anymore. Uh, you won't be able to accelerate, break, use abilities, anything like that. I see. Makes sense. Can I make it in time? I guess we'll find out. Yep, just slide on past. Ooh, very casually. Come on. Look at that. Perfect. Played this game before. No, I haven't actually. So how's the reception been to a game like this? Um, well, surprisingly, it's been positive. Uh, I kind of wasn't sure what I was getting myself into. Um, this, again, is kind of the first game I've ever made or released. Um, but yeah, originally I released a, a kind of an alpha and beta way back last year on uh, IndieDB. Mm -hmm. And that had gotten some uh, positive response. A couple thousand extra people signed up and played. Um, and yeah, I just kind of decided from there, you know what, I'll polish it up, keep working on it. Um, a, fun, a couple funny things happened. I actually ended up getting uh, greenlit on Steam, which really, really helped with my exposure. That kind of just, it's one of those things you kind of just get a bit of cred without having to do much. Uh, my inbox was being kind of flooded daily without having to solicit anyone whatsoever, so that was a boon. Um, other than that, yeah, it's been positive so far. Drag to a wheelie. Oh, okay. So you drag with the uh, control yeah. panel? You yeah. kind of want to pretend like you're braking and pull back or forward okay. in your direction. Okay. You can't actually beat this level without wheeling. Oh, that's, that's okay. That's what the triangle is. I didn't even see that there before. Can you do like a bunny hop? <laughs> um, no, unfortunately not, but as kind of a secret, you can get all the gems in this level by just flying full tilt and not doing anything. Not we. <laughs> it's kind of the only way to get all the gems. Just ram yourself at it without doing anything. I see. Ah, I got a new helmet. Hell yeah. Let's uh, go back to... I know gen frame makes me turn into one gem. Okay. So what are the gems used for aside from getting the currency then? Um, originally that was kind of, uh, when I first started making it I had the whole uh, mobile free to play kind of genre targeted. But So originally it was going to be for spending on new gear and things like that. Right now really what the gems can do are uh, 
when you go to the uh, shop itself, you'll notice there's a place you can uh, refresh the shop by spending a full gem. So it's kind of like a, allows you to just shuffle through all the items instead of waiting the timer out. Mm. At the moment, that's kind of the only real use for them. Um, yeah, you can also convert the, uh... um, the, the the gems themselves can also be converted into money. So if you are low, you can go convert, say, a hundred fragments into one gem, convert that one gem into a couple thousand bucks, and you'll actually be out ahead. All right. So how do I convert it? Because when I click on it, it does nothing. Okay, so if you don't have any gems, um, I, have, I don't uh, know how many. 196. Okay. I should be able to convert it into one. Gem. Okay, so you click the one on the left there. Yeah, the yeah, convert 100 into one. Yeah, it's not doing it anything. It should for work. Me Unfortunately, mm. yeah. Might might be a honest to god glitch with the uh, gamepad. Yeah, I, I put think it last much. minute. Yeah. <laughs> like last day uh, before I uploaded onto Steam. Alright. Well, that's alright. We'll just keep going. Uh, but I got some new stuff. Oh hell yeah, gold wheels. We'll buy me some gold wheels. And back. Shh. No, I was just in the shop. Garage. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, now I'm looking pretty trick. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. We good to go. I reckon we almost finished the trials. Oh no, there's plenty here. How many trials on each level? Um, the first world has uh, 30. Then the second world has 18, and the third world has 12. So there's actually 60 total levels. That's pretty decent. I noticed here that there's also, um... You generate, like, a racing license. Yeah, that was, again, kind of another thing I didn't fully flush up, but it is functional. If you click on your avatar in, in the uh, any of the menus, yeah, it it'll launch, it probably, uh, yeah. yeah. It was kind of something I was playing around with. I was just learning uh, how to generate uh, images with PHP and kind of just manifested from that. There's a similar button you can press when you uh, create a track. It will actually uh, generate a PHP image that will be a web link. So you could actually share a track with a web link. I see. Why is it playing that one again? I'll play this one. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I noticed you got ghosts in here as well. Yeah, uh, just a way to help people improve times. It's a pretty decent way of doing it. I was going to possibly have a way of implementing uh, online ghosts as well, allowing you to race against either other people or just the uh, highest ranked people on leaderboards, but haven't quite to, or never did get around to that. Oh uh, no! Almost got there. Do okay, you notice yes. the game does uh, induce quite a lot of frustration in everyone that plays it? Oh yeah. I'm uh, guessing I, it's I a little that easier, good. To, a little easier to throw a phone than it is to throw a keyboard. But... Slow down. Yeah. Speed up. Here we go. Perfect. That'll do. That'll do, pig. What? Oh no. That just comes up every random randomly every time. Maybe I gotta go slower. Gotta go slower than that. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's just one gate. You're not gonna like the next one that has like five gates. <laughs> 
He can still make it. He's still got motion. What you can do is just uh, wait in the beginning. Uh, actually, you don't have to start moving the cart. You can kind of just watch the gate go up and down, oh, up okay. and down. And then kind of just go full tilt when you've got the timing right. Doesn't matter. I passed the level. Casually. Okay. I remember I'm 30 seconds behind. <laughs> Casually passed the level. Uh, yeah, I'm watching with that casual bit of momentum. Damn, that boost really screwed me up. Oh, threading the needle. Damn. Well, got stuck there. So close. Alright, now we're good. Can you make it to the boost? Yes, he can. That wasn't so bad. That was not so bad at all. Oh. It gets a lot worse later on. Yeah, um, drop from the sky now. There's uh, there's a few obstacles later in the game, such as uh, fireballs. And what they'll actually do is overheat your cart when you touch them. Meaning, if you touch them, you lose uh, control of your cart altogether. My god, this map is just like... Moving left or right while in the air causes a cart to rotate. Same action performing a wheelie. Okay. Son of a bitch! Alright, going in for a sweet dive. Nails it. I give that dive a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10! Fantastic. That was a good level. Because I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> This is just a weird collection of just everything. Boosts and ramps everywhere. Oh, well that was silly. I can see the error of my ways now. Alright, restart that. Fucking weirdly, whoop whoop. Ah. <laughs> I'll just sit and get wheelies all the day. Come on. No, I don't think this is going to work. Nope, didn't work. Oh, at least it went out. Cool. So what would you say was the hardest part about making this game? Um, probably the last, uh... 99% of it, which was all the polish and actual gamey bits. 
Yeah, here the gamey bits are the worst. I mean, I had, um, like I mentioned, a prototype with the physics and everything in one week. <clears throat> in one month, I had all well, the whole tile set, graphics drawn out and everything. And then it was like a year of menus and menus and buttons and UI and menus. I see. Yeah, that and was really bonkers. A lot of uh, figuring out how on earth to actually make an iPhone game, an Android game as well, because there's a lot of BS that you have to jump through to get games approved on those platforms. Even on the Android still? Yeah, I do have three versions of it out, which I figure is quite the feat for my first game. Same. Oh, man, this level's kicking my ass. Uh, what? So, all right, I'm trying to kind of catch up and watch you here. When you're at the uh, that bottom boost ramp, at the very, very bottom of that first gully, you want to take that one full speed uh, so you can make it up to the next one. And then... Yeah, basically, I get to the where the um, seesaw is, and then I can't push it yeah. down. Yeah, you want to land on... The, the hard part is you have to land on the seesaw yeah. itself so it actually tilts down. And then when you come around, you use the seesaw as a ramp to make it up the other... Makes sense. The one thing I wish I had remembered or got around to adding was allowing you to skip levels with the uh, gems. Because at this point, it would be really valuable. <laughs> Allow someone to just skip. I think I got it. Slow down. Okay. Yeah, I got it now. We good! Yes, I'm watching you in the past. Beat it. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, man. But Appreciate it's also meant to be the kind of game that makes you waste your time on a bus or something. It, it was meant to be hard. I did get inspiration a lot of, from uh, playing games like Super Meat Boy that had me pounding my fists on my desk and replaying levels a hundred times. And then there's guys that can just play those games in ten minutes. And you're like, yep. Thanks, guy. Making me seem like all that frustration was to nothing. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is there, is there like a par or something on these levels? Nope. Um, no, it's just all about how fast you do them. I mean, unless you mean the times themselves, uh, which there is different uh, gold, silver, and bronze. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, um, there are times different brackets for that. It doesn't tell you what they are, but you can see after you do complete a level, you can see what your previous time was and assume that a lower time will grant you a higher medal. I see. Oh, I can screw that up again. Yeah, this one you want to go flying with full speed down that bottom ramp to get up to the exit. Yeah. Thought I could pull off a few wheelies before I snuck off. No. You could try, uh, I don't know if you've done it yet, dive bombing forward with like the front end of your cart off the first jump. Oh yeah, that's not a bad idea. Instead of going the other way. Oh yeah, because your head doesn't count. Of course. Makes yes, perfect sense. your head does not have collision. The secret. I feel like it should, but... <laughs> Small yeah. oversight. Uh, gameplay mechanic. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Oh my god, I did too many wheelies again. I'm an idiot. Getting caught up in the wheelie phenomenon. Yes, this one's meant to test your patience and see if you can go without braking for five seconds. But the wheelies, man. Originally, I did want there to be tricks and that kind of good stuff. And I actually wanted there to be a trick mode. Maybe for swipe card too. The re -swapping. 
I have thought about it. <laughs> I have so many gameplay ideas, and I've been actually messing around with Unity. And if I can't come up with anything good, I might just honestly remake this with awesome 3D graphics. Your card is equipped with boosters. Hit B to enable a hor horizontal boost. Yes, this is what lets you go really fast. I'm all about the boost. Counts to the yeah. Look at that jam. There we go. How much boost do I get? Um, as much as your heat allows. So pretty much until you overheat. Oh, that's nice that the boost can like sort of get you out of those gates. Yeah, where it also becomes kind of powerful is um, where you can, you know, tilt your cart forward and back, kind of in combination with wheeling, and then uh, boost, so you can kind of Why? give yourself vertical thrust as well there. Yeah. So I guess I'd like to say to the uh, physics in this game, uh, Quite surprised. Uh, it's all done uh, in Game Maker Studio. This entire game, and I was quite surprised what it could do with the physics. Like I set this up in like a day, the cart with the wheels, and then spent about a week tweaking it. But yeah, I was impressed. Yeah, Game Maker uh, surprises me these days. It never used to be like that, um, and it always used to be one of those things where it's like. Um, oh god, go the other way. No, I go the other way! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, as I was saying, Game Maker is one of those ones that's like, you know, it's hard to... You can see the the bad parts of Game Maker, like, easily. But, you know, there's a lot of good games that come out of that game. Come out of Game Maker, I mean. And it's, it, there's a lot of ones that get overlooked as well, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I honestly didn't find anything really limiting about it when I uh, when I put this together. I was kind of amazed at what I could do with a lot of the uh, the newer updates to Game Maker. I haven't actually like, played it for a, for a long time. I played around with it for a long time, I should say. Uh, me too, actually. Probably back 10 plus years ago, even when the first versions came out. Uh, when I was like probably 12 years old at the time. Yeah! Getting those gems like a boss. And I was making terrible clip art RPGs that went nowhere. I oh, know, they're the best type of RPGs. What am I saying? No, they're terrible. <laughs> but yeah, this was kind of the first real project I'd ever followed through on. So I mean, I had cursory knowledge of how Game Maker worked. But actually putting it all together like this was kind of a first go around. Uh, sorry, I'm not. This is getting pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it does get intense. Now I gotta go the other way, I think. If the arrow is not lying to me. You can imagine it gets um, pretty difficult trying to get all the gems. No! Damn it! Stop! <laughs> but I put I'll in achievements for, uh, that way. for getting all the gems, and there are people out there that have gotten them. <laughs> I see. You'll, you'll see it in a minute. I just lost it, and then I started flying off the map. I was like, oh, why not? <laughs> I thought about putting uh, checkpoints into the levels, but I mean, most of them aren't more than 30 seconds to a minute long, so... Nah, the checkpoints would ruin it. If anything, it would give you like a time, like maybe like for time lapsing, more than anything, but... Yeah, I thought about rewind as well, but... Nah. 
All right, now he's get, get, bring time travel to the uh, Swapcock game. That that could be in the sequel. Swapcock, Back to the Future. Slow down. Can you not slow on the ramp or something? Um, no, you have no braking ability on the uh, the seesaw yet. There is an ability your car gets a little bit later on that will let you slow down while you're on them. I just missed the tutorial. These things are really easy to skip with the um. Oh wow, okay, I gotta do a wheelie here, huh? I'm allowing you to jump vertically. Hold the hold the A button. Okay, all right, I can deal with that. Oh yeah, cart game just got real. Grab those gems, boss. Yeah, it, it, it would have been a pretty decent NES game, I think, Scott. You ever thought of porting it to the Super Nintendo? I hear that's a pretty fun thing to do these days. I wish I, wish I had time. <coughs> they, they, Barely had time to finish the game. A guy, uh, um, I can't, Scott, you remember his name, right? The guy who made that Super Nintendo game? I tried to. I forget his name now, but it was Retro City Rampage, I think it was. The game, and the guy ported it to Super Nintendo. Like, he made a cartridge for it and everything. I I saw that. That was... Uh, I admire his dedication. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the amount of free time to be able to do that. I actually thought about uh, making another version, a Windows Phone version of this. And then I looked at the code, and I looked at the game, and I thought, Oh, I'm lazy, and I don't want to touch this. It's been three bloody months. Is the um is the install base even there for Windows phones? Um, you know, I had read lots of uh, postmortems and blogs that had kind of indicated the user base is small, but so is the amount of quality games on there. So if you do have something of decent quality, you can stand out easily and get a pretty good market share. Yeah, it makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of the the problem with uh, Android and iOS. Uh, there's so many games out there that it's hard to get noticed. I mean, I will say I have a way, way, way larger install base on PC by like a factor of 10. Compared to the mobile phones? Yeah. Huh. And I, I've thought about uh, releasing a, a free version for mobile that has ads and probably includes just the first world. It's something I may do just to get a uh, install base, just to get more people knowing about it. The other thing you could do as well is um, maybe give the people who own the PC version uh, a copy of Android version as well. I'm not sure if you can do it for the iOS, but I know you can do it for the Android. Um, yeah. <clears throat> or I, I actually, I thought of a way, I, I thought about it for a while, a way of doing it. Um, if I do have a free version, say, for Android. What feature I do have in the game is, uh, let's say for now you want to go buy the iOS version or the Android version after this. You can go into the options menu of this game now, and there is a little code there, a uh, sync code. And say you can write it down, uh, and then go into, uh, when you create your profile in the Android version, there's a little button that says, I have a sync code. Uh, you click it, and you put in your driver number, whatever your number was when you, that you could also write down at this point when you, know, when you made this profile, and that sync code, and it links it up. And at that point, the profile's unlinked, and you can carry on playing at the same point. Same level, same everything. It's, um... Sorry about that. It's a bloody ambulance just like <laughs> drove past my window. Apparently, um, this level is very interesting. Like I'm, I'm finding myself like sort of flipping around and and all that sort of stuff. Like my ghost of this level is going to be awesome. Hey. Awesome. I'm actually really liking this game. Like, there's a lot to it. Like, it's kind of like a deceiving little package as well. Like, 
You wouldn't think there'd be that sort of complexity in a game with the art style that it has. Did you make the art yourself, by the way? Uh, yeah, 90% of it. Uh, well, funny story, the other 10% uh, <laughs> would be made by my wife. Okay. Yes. Yeah, no, it's it's funny. The original cart itself actually was drawn by her, and that kind of inspired uh, everything else, the whole design of the game. But uh, yeah, the original cart was was her drawing. Wow, I think I just break the world record for that level, maybe. That's not to say that I, I don't have any art skills, but uh, I thought it made for a, a good style for the game. Um, I do dabble in a, a lot of other art, 3D art and ZBrush and whatnot, but uh, yeah, this was something that I could honestly just crank out quickly and efficiently. I see. I got uh, number 34 for that level in the entire world. That's pretty good, uh, considering I do have many, many thousand people on the leaderboards. Honestly, I'm enjoying the jump functionality and the boost functionality way too much. See, I, that's where I thought putting tricks in would be good. Add another little modifier while you're jumping and boosting and boom, backflip. Or like a, a 360 or something. Okay. Trying to fit through that little hole there, but it's not letting me. Oh, I see. You can actually like change the direction facing in the air as well. No, that was the wrong way. <laughs> oh, actually, that's an interesting one. I'm gonna try that. Let's see if this works. See if I can break the game a little bit. No. <sighs> trying to like for, get, uh, trying to get around the back end of this map here. For that uh, that comment about the art style, um, honestly, I thought about using one of those uh, free voxel modeling programs to kind of replicate some of the models or drawings in 3D. I figured that could kind of work so it could retain the same uh, pixely style, but uh, in 3D with some nice post process effects and other fun stuff. Oh shit, yeah! You're gonna enjoy that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I think it just made your. your <laughs> I got f number five for that map. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. I enjoy <laughs> the fact that people have found shortcuts uh, and things I didn't plan on. Yeah, man. I'm happy with that. It made my day. Thank you for that. <laughs> I, I tried really hard, actually, to, to block people from cheating, if you will, but there's always determined people. So I missed something here. Something about parachute. Hold Y. Alright, got it. See, so parachutes as well, man. There's way too much in this game. And parachutes will uh, allow you to slow down or, well, almost break uh, when you're on uh, the seesaws. Oh, cool, yeah. Interesting. More and more gets added to this game. Do it! Oh, that's probably the wrong way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, in advance, kudos if you can beat uh, 28 and 29, or sorry, 29 and 30. In this They're level? meant to be insanely hard. Yeah, especially this one, 29.
I, there's a lot of control in this game. I kind of wish that it was like open earlier in the level, but it's just me. Yeah, I did find when I was testing, it was a lot too soon for people. It was really overwhelming. Like, if there was this much control early on, like I had people like trying to place test it, like my mother, who is a senior citizen and does not play video games very often. And yeah, I tried to design it with her in mind so that she'd play it for more than five minutes at a time. Sure. But I mean, there is uh, there's a lot of levels left at this point, so there's quite a challenge. But at this point, everything's kind of unlocked, but it will now vary from level to level what's given to you. Some levels you might not have the boost, or you might not have the jump. Hell yeah. Number 12 for that level. A black cut. Now I gotta put that on. So, you got like a heap of worlds in here, so how many trials were per world, did you say? Uh, first world is 30, second is 18, and the third is 12. But like, the levels are a lot more complex in the other worlds, so I actually kind of timed them out. And lengthwise, I mean, the second and third worlds are almost as long as the first, because the first has a lot of short, shorter, like 10, 20 second levels. Mm -hmm. to go now. Do you get like different clothing for you dude at all? Um, no. He just kind of wears his blue jumpsuit, chills and that the whole time. I thought of it. There's just the helmets, carts, and wheels. Oh. So, uh... Let's take a quick look at the editor while we're here. Yeah, um... It's not as polished as I'd like, but it's functional. Okay. Interesting. So how do I attach it to another thing? Do I... Oh, right click. Cool. Yeah, when an item or our track piece is highlighted green, it will snap. Right. I think you already got that. But look at the stream, right? Yeah, it's weird that it's right click. Um, the, it was really hard to design the controls for this because I had to make it work for mobile as well. Like oh, on mobile, okay. it's it's clicking and dragging with your finger, and then a second finger tap places it down. It makes more sense when you're doing it. Like it's actually intuitive when you're act using it. But yeah, right click just I don't know works. Okay, so you can't put the gem fragments too close to one another then. That's good. So you can, so do people make like levels just to get? money to buy stuff because I feel like that um, would be a thing that they'd do if I remember correctly I don't think uh, you can gain money from them there are more just for fun and the achievements I put in or achievement I put in for it Let's see. oh hang on delete that And mild. Let's see if I make a loop to loop. I assume that's the first thing anyone ever makes in this game. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh so there's no like Where's the ending spot? Okay, options. Okay, so you can change the uh, the world. It's gonna be snow world for sure. Uh, finish. Yeah, so you need to put your uh, finish down oh, nice. wherever you want the end of your track to be. And then the start start line will be 
basically that that place where you stop swiping that start line the beginning how do you um add tracks to like the back of a track because i'm not able to do that like i can't add it like a i guess i can just Oh, it, it's kind of unintuitive. I didn't get around to polishing it, but if you do click on the left side of a track, like it will snap to that side properly, okay. even though the graphic doesn't flip. Oh, really? Let's try that then. Like. Oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. See again, I'm kind of behind in the stream, so I can't see. But yeah, it, <clears throat> there's a few things I wanted to finish up on the uh, the editor. But honestly, I the. Uh, the statistics, I have analytics running on the game, and there weren't enough people using the track editor, in my opinion. Honestly, even for the achievement. So I didn't think it was worthwhile spending too much time going back to it. Okay. Uh, release? Am I doing... Did I miss something in the editor? Okay, so you hit uh, test. Yeah, I don't have, like... Starting, like, speed up zones or something? Oh, wait, no, I do. Cool. Get those gems, those hard to reach gems. So, how can I give myself, like, uh. I'm guessing I can. In the options oh, menu, cool, yeah, there yeah. are the, uh, the different abilities you can add to your cart. Okay, test. I also recommend at some point um, saving it just in case. Also, because you need to save it before you can upload it. And I found my own map. <laughs> That's killed. Kill him, okay. Damn, got the highest score on that level. That's weird. <laughs> All right, so save it. Save, save, save. And then Sweet. you should be able to upload it. Wild. Red. Damn it, doesn't fit. Sweet. H wild ride. Damn it doesn't <sighs> Yeah, I had to have a character limit unfortunately. <laughs> Damn it I can't <laughs> Whatever, that's it. wild rid. And so then you can click up like oh no. Damn it. Undo. Have to save it again. And you should be able to click upload at this point. I know, I put nice. down one thing and then it didn't let me upload. Ah, oh, that to, is do I unfortunate. Have to save it again? No, uh, it, you have to beat it again. If you put one down, I know it sucks. The game thinks you changed something. I did. Well. Oh. Beat it quickly. I, I encourage you so you can upload it and get the hey, achievement. Hey, I even got my. Uh... Alright. It'll be a fantastic way to cap off the stream. Track upload! Damn! Because there is an achievement. Certified engineer. Hell yeah. Fantastic. Alright, so, um... That's about all we have time for, for that game. But, uh, did you have anything you wanted to, uh... To, uh, pimp? Aside from the game itself? While we're here? Um... No, not really, just, uh, I'm... If anyone does want to follow uh, me on Twitter, it's M underscore Hendrix, H-E-N-D-R-I-X-06. Um, I do work on some other stuff, some art. Um, I am working on a few other concepts for some new games. Uh, yeah, if you go on my Twitter there, you'll see some of the stuff I have working on. And yeah, that's about it. I encourage anyone that hasn't played Swipe Card yet to try it out. Definitely. Um, it's available for mobile, and yeah get it there it's fun and you can play the same profile between PC and mobile carry on oh really All right. 
Jeez, okay, I didn't realize that. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. in the options menu, there's a sync code, uh, and you just type that in when you're making a new profile. Fantastic. Um, last question, can your maps be exported from the game? Um, well, there is. A, when you actually go to events, there other people can play. Uh, if you have the number, each map has an ID number. Mm -hmm. You can basically tell someone your ID number, and they can type it in in-game and play it. All right, there you go. That's a good answer. Um, thank you very much, Mike, for joining us. Yeah, no problem. This has been fun. Yeah. So make sure you go grab the uh, swipe cart on your local mobile device, except if you own a Windows device, then you're shit out of luck. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you can also go grab it on Zero as well, which is nice. Um, and Steam soon, you said? Uh, it's on Steam now. On Steam now. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. All right, guys. Uh, let's move on. Thanks, Mike, for joining us. Yeah, thank you. All right, catch up.